And uh, welcome to the May 21st Select Board meeting. This meeting is called to order at 6.33. And we are in the middle school again. We are, uh, we hope, the final uh, town meeting session. We fully expect it to be the final town meeting session. Um, Select Board will not meet again until June 11th, Monday, June 11th. So we're taking care of all the business we could do between now and then. And uh, that's it. So our first item tonight, oh, first I'll just note that our 640 item, which was a temporary easement related to the uh, uh, bike path resurfacing and the replacement of the Snell Street Bridge, um, that uh, has been postponed to our June meeting. That's not ready for tonight. But our first item is the five-year energy reduction plan for the Green Communities Act application. We have Stephanie Ciccarello, the sustainability coordinator, here to talk with us about that. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I'd first like to introduce Sally Miller, who is Hello. our University of Massachusetts graduate intern who has actually done most of the grueling work of the energy number data crunching. So um, Sally's been incredibly valuable and helpful in putting this together. So before you, you have a draft plan of the energy reduction plan. Um, we decided upon um, our baseline year of fiscal year 2011. So it sort of goes out from there. So baseline year is fiscal year 2011, and then our target year to reach our 20% reduction goal from that baseline year would be fiscal year 2016. So what you have uh, is just an overview. Uh, really, the, the information is really in the, in the tables. The narrative section is just kind of a reference to some of the things that we have in the tables, but the, the data is really all laid out very clearly in the tables. Um, Sally could even talk to you a little bit about that, but um, you know, we, we only reached a 15% reduction, actual like a tangible reduction, 15% with what we have here. Then we're allowed an, an additional 5% reduction that can be kind of projects that we're planning on working on, but we don't actually have the calculations and the data available just yet, but it is something that we plan on doing, projects that we plan on doing. So that's where the 20% comes from and why you will see 15% on your table, um, just so you understand that that was the figure that we absolutely had to meet um, in order to um, apply for the Green Communities application status. So I'll let Sally talk a little bit about the things if you go to the problem and what we did. Um, so one thing that's been really helpful moving forward in here is that starting with our baseline year, we now have a pretty comprehensive collection of data to review every year, um, which they require for a review every year to check in and just see how the progress is going. So things will be much more centralized and, um, and we're using one of the software or the websites that they uh, require you to use, so it's a lot easier to collect the information from here. And then, um, so at first you have the, the baseline, that's the one on pages four and five, and it's a lot of numbers. Uh, our current energy use as of fiscal year 2011. Um, and then the next table, Pages eight and nine are the energy reduction measures. And um, yeah, I'm happy to take any questions about these with yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I noticed that on the baseline, you have the Jones and the Munson libraries, but they're not on table, on the second table. And I think they're a good bet for actually saving energy this year because they had an energy audit um, that showed there was actually a hole where the new section meets the old section. There's a lot of energy wasted going through some of what they found. And they already have 15,000 towards um, added insulation and a good chance of getting the other 15,000 next year for JCPC. Obviously, I can't speak on behalf of that committee, but um, I think those are good to add because I think they're going to show um, energy saving. Some of what, and those might be something that we add to that 5% narrative because we really have to have 
um, firm data and calculations. Everything has to be verifiable. Mm -hmm. So anything that we include within that 15%, most of what we have are, are from audits, um, but they were things that we could pull from an engineering study. So if they have that information, we could use it. Um, but I think at this point, as long as it's part of our 5%, it certainly can be included right. in the narrative as something we're going to be working on. I, I think they do have some data, but you should look at it and decide for yourselves whether that's appropriate at this point or whether you want to save them for the 5%. I do have one more question. I didn't quite understand the last section, Appendix A. What is item 3.1 on the chart? Um, to, I couldn't quite make it match up with anything. Item 3.1 is the Wildwood natural gas conversion of two of the boilers. Um, so that's a calculation based on the efficiency, the percentage efficiency of the current usage. So moving forward, um, it's an improvement in efficiency. Which is Perhaps you could make it a little clearer by saying in parens or even right next to item 3.1 what it refers to. You mean in the table? Yeah. In the uh, appendix, in the appendix. Put the because, building name next yeah, to the item right. number. Yeah, I think it'll I think it'll help people. At least if it'll help me. <laughs> Other questions or comments from Select Board? Mr. Hayden. I just have a quick question. How does this it looks awfully familiar like the old Ickley um, climate plan that, that happened a number of years ago. Does this fit into that? Are those similar baselines or could they be? Mm. No, no, not really. because they're different programs that we used and yeah. um, <clears throat> that was really geared towards carbon dioxide emission <clears throat> reduction, right, this is whereas this is very <clears throat> specifically energy reduction. So they're yeah. similar but, but not identical. Okay. Other questions or comments? Mr. Wall. Can I realize an unrelated thing? Just that Mr. Ciccarello is going to be doing a tour of the solar proposed area on the landfill in the near future, and we might want to alert our viewers to that. Right. Yes. Um, I, um, it may have been advertised as June 9th. Um, unfortunately, I had a conflict, so it is actually Sunday, June 10th, um, from 2 to 4. And I'll just be walking people on the road and sort of talking about the Blue Wave proposal that was submitted to the town and um, just giving some information about what was proposed and as much information as we have at this point, which is nothing definitive, and I have been very clear that this is not a definitive proposal right now. It's what was proposed by Blue Wave is what we'll be discussing. Thanks. Mr. Hayden. Two things, and they're both numbers, one of which I don't know, which is the, uh, the amazing effort that goes into this. I do remember from our old uh, Energy Task Force <coughs> days sort of wrestling with these numbers of the ground and. and so, I mean, I might be more appreciative than most on, on what's in this very efficient document. Um, also, the second number I do know, because it's written down here, 15%. I mean, that's, that's, that's not bad for the first, you know, first go around. And, and you know, so we have to really appreciate the effort on Ron's part and Stephanie's part in getting to that. Thank you. <laughs> Really, it's a wonderful amount of data here and something for <clears throat> folks to be able to re really reference all in one place. It's nice to be able to go, wow, holy cow, the town has really done a lot yeah. of amazing mm -hmm. stuff. So thank you. And I think it's, you know, I, I think it's the state's program. Really, honestly, we follow the guidelines. And they set up the Mass Energy Insight data tool, which is an incredible resource. And I think that, you know, people should be aware that the state has really done <clears throat> quite a bit to sort of move cities and towns within the Commonwealth forward on this issue. So. We can definitely thank them. Excellent. Other questions or comments? Ms. Musanti. Yeah, just I uh, wanted to thank Stephanie and um, Sally because this was a lot of work to pull this together, the, the criteria for the Green Communities Act, uh, a lot of collaboration, coordination necessary with a uh, wide range of uh, town staff. And it's coming together. Uh, they are literally on the cusp of submitting our Green Communities Act application uh, later this week. And so onward and upward from there, we're hoping to hear good news uh, by early fall, I think, or in the fall. Oh, actually, we would find it a lot sooner than Okay. That. 
Wow. Um, and then it's, you know, with state help, some assistance in implementing many of these over the next five years. So it's good stuff. That's great. Other questions or comments? But my only comment was uh, on page 10, um, part six, list of resources. Just making sure you realize that part's not filled in yet. So. Thank you. Uh, and so tell us, what's what's the select board's role in this? Why are you? So the state would like a letter um, from Mr. Musanti stating that the select board has um, reviewed the overall plan and <clears throat> will adopt the plan for the town so that the town will actually commit to following through with this five-year energy plan. Okay. Easy enough. I don't know if 15% enough. I, I gotta, let me think about that. For a <laughs> And so this is a framework for us, and as we get into individual projects or think of new ones, uh, it will be constantly reassessed and we'll come forth with proposals, um, you know, primarily through the capital budget, but in some ways through operating budget as, as, as appropriate and go from there. Great. Other questions or comments, Ms. Brewer? At some point, not in probably, certainly not in this um, submission, but perhaps as an additional reference for when we have it here, as Ms. O'Keefe pointed out, this is a great reference plan. It would be helpful, reflecting back to something Ms. Stein said a little while ago, to have a list of the buildings that aren't included in this plan, just kind of to the side saying, you know, future buildings just so that then there's again that complete picture of where our buildings are because I know we're going to have a different facilities uh, plan that we'll be seeing but somehow and maybe just having that will be enough but somehow there it needs to be referenced that yes we know we have these other buildings but those buildings aren't part of this right now that's a future thing this is not every single building we have which is what probably a lot of people would guess looking at this. And so we just don't want to confuse things in the long run. But like I said, your submission wouldn't need to include that, but some place in an additional list. And I know you're going to believe it when you see the uh -huh. final <laughs> tremendous product. Uh, our building uh, needs assessment plan uh, will have a matrix in it it's mostly about the condition of the building. Right. Um, that's an easy reference guide, but we can be working when this gets out the door yeah. to think about how they're linked together and, and uh, you know, cross-referenced in, right. in that as well so that you can see things such as that. Right, exactly, like right. some chart in that future report that right. just has a column for green communities, right. you know, yep. energy ERP, I mean, mm -hmm. acronym for us. ERP. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. If I could make one final acknowledgement, sure. I just want to um, personally, um, Sally and I have really had to rely a lot on town staff, and everyone that we asked for information has been really wonderful and forthcoming with it, and understood our time frame and was really helpful. So I would like to just acknowledge that it's such a great cooperative group of people to be working with and I want the public to know that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially um, Ron Bohanowitz has just been absolutely amazing in this process and I really am not sure that we could have done it without his help. So I just want to let people know too that we're very lucky to have him. Thank you. Ms. Stein gave a wonderful thank you to him at town meeting the other day as part of the JCPC report. It's, it's good to have uh, some celebration of, of all his excellent work, so thank you. All right, are we ready for a motion on this? Ms. Stein. I move that the select board mm -hmm. approve the five-year energy reduction plan. Um, we should put a date on that, I guess. Dated what? Draft of. Huh. Hmm? I would say <laughs> the draft. She's draft suggesting draft. As submitted of. five, you know, reviewed Today. by 21 or something like that. All right, draft reviewed. May 21st. Second. For the discussion, Mr. Hayden. Just a quick question. Do we want to include, um, um, which is, you know, which is part of the um, Green Cities, um, you know, Green Land, 
the Green Communities Act. I mean, it's, par it's partly, I mean, it's, it's valuable in and of itself, uh, but I want to just sort of hook it into the Green Communities Act that we are also filling with this, or a piece of it. Sure, so to be submitted as part of the Green Communities application. Yeah, yeah. okay. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> and I assume your second holds for the amendment. <laughs> yes, I second. Okay. Further discussion? All second in favor say aye. 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 That is unanimous. Thank you very much. Good so luck uh, getting to the finish line on this, and, yeah. and thank you. <laughs> Just amazing work. All right, 6.49. So we don't, oh, we do have a bunch of untimed items to deal with. Tonight, uh, which are just minutes, as far as I know. Um, yeah. Have folks had a chance to look at the minutes? I did not. Okay. Um, they're very small, but on the April 9th one, Spinetti has one T, not two. Um, and then on April 18th, under the common victualler license, I would put a parens after frozen yogurt franchise for your world because we have to. Um, I know it says it down afterwards, but um, I, it fits Which better there. Which meeting and date was that? On April 18th, page two, I believe. Just adding another yeah. reference to it so yes, they don't yeah. get separated from it, each other. Yeah. Okay. I had trouble remembering the things I actually spoke to. It was pretty funny. Um, and then for April 26th, I don't know about Jim Wall, but I was surely at that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim, I think you were too. No, this was actually a Thursday morning meeting. This was to sign the oh, warrant I, for right, the- Oh, sorry, it's um, the wrong one. Uh, April 30th, I was definitely at that meeting. Oh yes, you just carried over the uh, yeah the absences from okay. the other one, and then um, oh, yeah. go back to the mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And Jim, I think you were also. Yeah, yeah. am I correct? Yeah. Okay, so then back on the twenty sixth, um, I would put after the town manager's explanation uh, what it was. That is uh, a typo in the previously passed article on funding for War Memorial Pool needed to be corrected and have town meeting approve it. Because it's kind of hollow without some explanation of exactly what happened. So that's my opinion. That's it. Anyone else? Ms. Brewer? While you're including all that. Um, what turn in, you know, one sentence is now a long two sentence set of notes, but um, part of grant should appear in there also. Okay. Ms. Bruce says reference part grant also in that sentence. It's so it's, sentences. It, it looks too much like old fashioned select board minutes, <laughs> <laughs> not new fashioned select board minutes. <coughs> That's all. All right. I have nothing else to say. I just had a couple of typos and you know, location corrections and stuff that I can give those to. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. How <coughs> much time would you like to make the motion? Then, you know? Sure. I move that the select board accept the amended minutes of April 9th, 2012, April 18th, 2012, April 13th, 2012, April 26th, 2012, and April 30th, 2012. Second. As amended. As amended. Yeah. Yeah. I said as amended earlier. Oh, okay. The dates weren't Sorry. quite right, but that's what was wrong. Okay. It was <laughs> For the motion. <laughs> 23rd instead of 13th, but yeah, it all works out. Yeah. What I said? You said 13, but that's okay. Instead of 23. This is what happens when you get to the seventh night of town meeting. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. What are you going to do? Okay. Exactly. Uh, it's been moved and seconded for the discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 That's unanimous. Okay. Um, other items. Um, as far as things related to town meeting, um, the Finance Committee is going to make the motion on Article 30 about referral. When, <clears throat> when we took our position to not recommend or support referral, we weren't sure how the logistics of that would happen, but Finance Committee is going to make that, <clears throat> and so then I'll be speaking in support of their referral motion. Um, 
other things related to town meeting. Um, we certainly expect this to be the very last night of the year. We would not be intending to come back for anything on Wednesday. Uh, so that means we don't meet again until June 11th. One of the things that you should be thinking of between now and then is our uh, traditional wrap-up discussion. Any thoughts we had about how town meeting went? Um, either for our own processes, other folks' processes, the kind of feedback that we can give to other folks. This is a little bit longer between the end of town meeting and our discussion of that. So um, before you just, you know, uh, purge it all from your memory banks, uh, you might just make some notes yeah. to yourself because we will have that discussion on the 11th. That's all I have to mention. Anyone else have anything about town meeting specifically you want to talk about? Mr. Wald, y'all ready for tonight? <laughs> Article 27. <laughs> ready as you'll ever be. Okay. Anything not related to town meeting that folks want to mention? I'm just going to pass down um, a handout that I would have brought to you anyway at the table tonight since I put them on the back table myself. It's uh, mentioning the second of the two Amherst focused regionalization public forums that we were required to have is being held on this Thursday, the 24th at ACTV. And it's on the town website, et cetera. But um, this is a follow up to Article 1 because we said at that time that we weren't sure which mm -hmm. day it would be in May. And now we know. Thank you. Ms. Wall. Don't we have everything local coming up? Yes, part one of that is right. tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the town room. That's Tuesday, May 22nd. And part two is the following Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, um, the 29th. Uh, and that's going to be about talking about uh, whether we can create a, a, a place in Amherst that is a, is a total venue for local food and, and products. So. That should be exciting. Mm -hmm. um, also coming up is the Memorial Day Parade on uh, Monday, the 28th. Uh, we gather on the town common. I can't remember, it's around 9.30 or something. Um, the parade starts off at 9.30, so you want to gather uh, at the Spring Street lot area, you know, 9.15 or so. Yeah. Um, we'll do the traditional route down to the uh, Memorial area at the community field and have a ceremony there. Bob Romer will be mm. the featured speaker this year. Great. That'll um, be great. Another Civil War Amherst history lesson. Similar to his talk in the fall. I mm -hmm. should be great. So uh, this is, as I understand, the first year that we will have had Memorial Day when we know the graves of the Amherst Civil War. African American Civil War veterans, is that right? So they'll be marked this we year. We knew the most, time. but they weren't marked for some reason. They weren't marked, okay. Yeah. There might have been one or two. I think he, <clears throat> he determined some others that might have been missing, but basically, yeah. Terrific. So that's right. Yep, that'll be good. All right, anybody else have anything to say before we move on to the final town meeting session? Speak now or forever oh. hold your peace. Ms. Brewer. Oh, um, oh. Brief, briefly, I voted against the local historic district and I have based on all that's happened since we so long ago took that vote I'm now in support of it so do we need to do anything would it be appropriate to do anything official associated with that or just ask Mr. Wald to mention that or what for the process oriented <laughs> yeah, that's a good what question. what would be the right way to handle that I mean it's not like town meeting where we have to have a big motion for reconsideration maybe <laughs> but um, I think that's a nice point for Mr. Wald to just emphasize mm -hmm. that when we originally took okay. our vote, yeah. one of us opposed it, bec but because of all the good things that have happened since right. then, the select board now is unanimously in support. Yes. Yes. Mr. Hayden, of course, recused because he was. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Hayden, thank you. Right. Okay. Thank you okay. for making just that point. I wanted to make sure that we didn't need to do anything somehow. Okay. Uh, Ms. Payne, did you have your hand raised? Please? No. Well, well, yeah, I was going to move for Jern. Oh, that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everyone that. good with Mr. Hayden moving for Jern. Then, without <clears throat> objection, this meeting ends at 6.58. Thank you, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.